Hello, welcome. This is going to be a precursor to a video I'm putting out in the next day or two. But first, I want to show and I want to make a video of how I plan to apply the harmonic minor to the progression I'm going to solo over. And as you can hear, it's a very simple backing, just bass and drums. And it goes like this. A, A, G, G, A, A, F, E, back to A, A, and then it just keeps going. That's it, that's it, simple. Okay, so here, uh, here's a little bit of a rhythm I'm gonna put to it. It goes like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw out some basic theory. Uh, this material that I've known for quite a long time, I learned this stuff about 35 to 40 years ago. Uh, I've been using it ever since. And so here we go. First thing is that our progression is in the key of A minor. Okay. And A minor is the relative minor of C major. Okay. And the key signature for these two keys is no sharps, no flaps. So I'm going to write no sharps, no flats. And that looks like this. It's just one, two, three three, four, five lines, and a clef. So there's no sharps, there's no flaps. Okay, so there's that. I'm just gonna write out the C major scale. We wanna look at the C major scale first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And so there's C, D, E, F, G, a, B, and then back to the C, up an octave. Okay, so now with that, there's a step pattern. And it goes like this. So from C to D, that's a whole step. From D to E, that's a whole step. E to F is a half step. F to G is a whole step. G to A, whole step. A to B, whole step, B to C, half step. Okay, so that's the, that's the step pattern for major scale. Now, right here, this B is known as the leading tone. Okay, and what that means is that this B uh, resolves up to the C by one half step. So it's, it's resolving back to the key note by one half step. So when the seventh tone of the scale is a half step away from the key note, that's known as a leading tone. So this is the C major scale. And that's also known as the Ionian mode. Yeah. 
So a major scale is also known as an Ionian mode. So now we're going to do the natural minor. And so basically we're going to start on A and we're going to follow that same step pattern. So basically we're going to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and back to A. Okay. So we got a step pattern for this one too. So A to B is a whole step. B to C is a half step. C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. E to F is a half step. F to G is a whole step. And G to A is a whole step. Okay. So this is your A minor scale. Okay, so that's the A minor scale. And that's also known as the Aeolian mode. So this is the natural minor. This is the same key signature, C major, it's the natural minor. Okay, so now, uh, so now what I wanna do is uh, show the, the um, harmonic minor. And the harmonic minor has a raised seventh in it. And so what happens is this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp here, that's a G sharp there, and then back to the A, okay. And so step pattern here is whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, and here we have one and a half steps right there. And that leaves a half step. So with this half step here, what happens is that, is that we have a leading tone. So the G sharp right here, that is a leading tone. Okay, so there's that. So there's a leading tone in this scale. So we have an accidental of a G sharp. And so basically this right here is a harmonic minor. It is just like the natural minor with the seventh tone raised one half step. So that's how you want to do this. You want to relate this to the natural minor because they're the same except for the, the harmonic minor has a raised seventh in it. So that creates our leading tone. Okay. So now I'm going to do some erasing on this and we'll, we'll go a little further. And so I did a little racing. I got rid of the, the step patterns. And now I'm gonna take a, a red pen and I'm gonna fill in the triads. So here we got C, E, G, D, F, A, E, G, B, F, A, C, uh, G, B, D, a, C, E, B, D, F, and C, E, G. Okay, those are the triads. Okay, natural minor. We're going to A, C, E, B, D, F, C, E, G, D, F, A, E, G, B, F, A, C, G, B, or yeah, G, B, D, and A, C, E, right there. Okay, so now we're going to do this. So now every time we have a G, we're going to sharp it. So A, C, E, B, D, F, 
C E G sharp D F A E G sharp B F A C G sharp B D and then A C E okay so so there's a couple of different chords in here because of the G sharp. There's actually three of them. The C, E, G sharp, the E, G sharp, B, and the G sharp, B, D. So those are different chords than these uh, in here. So there's that. Okay, so now I am going to use a blue pen and I am going to write the type of triad we have for each. And instead of writing it out major, minor, diminished, or augmented, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Roman numeral system that's used in music. I'm going to write down some examples so you can see how these Roman numerals are used. So if you have an uppercase Roman numeral, say Roman numeral four uppercase, that would equal, that would be a major chord. Now, if you have a lowercase six, that would be a minor because it's lowercase. Okay. And then if you have a lowercase, and you have a little circle by it, that is a diminished. And so that would be diminished. And if you have an uppercase and it has a plus sign by it, that would be augmented. So that is the notation I like to use. And so there it is. So that's it. If, it. if it's major, if it's capital, lowercase by itself is a minor, lowercase with a circle is diminished, uppercase with the plus sign is augmented. Okay, so here we're going to go through here and just uh, show what type of chords we have here. So this right here is a major. So that's a one and that's a major. That's a two minor. That's a three, that's a minor. That's a uppercase uh, four, and so that's a major. That's an uppercase five, that's a major. And that's a lowercase six, that's a minor. Now this one right here is a lowercase seven with a circle by it. So that's a diminished. Okay, so since that all the notes in the C major scale and all the notes in the A natural minor scale are the same. The type of chord is going to remain the same for both, but the number is going to change. So the A is a minor, so the one would be it would be lowercase. The two is diminished, so it's going to be like that. The C is um is a major so that's a three uppercase the d is a minor so that's a four lowercase and then the e is a minor and that's a five lowercase the f is a major so that's a uh, six uppercase and the g is a major so that would be a seven uppercase okay so there's that. So now, since um, since we have some uh, we have that different note in there, we have three chords that are different. So this chord right here has a G sharp. This chord right here has a G sharp, and this G sharp chord has a G sharp. Okay. So here we go. So we got the A is going to be a lowercase one bdf there's no change there it's the same but the cg you see how we have the major here 
But here we have the raised fifth. So if you take a major and you raise the fifth, you end up with an augmented. So this is going to be capital three plus, and that's the augmented chord. Over here, no change. No change. So this is the four lowercase. This right here, oh, okay, there's a change there. If you raise the third of a minor chord, you're going to end up with a major. The G sharp makes this a major chord, so this is a capital five. And that's major. This right here is the same, so it's going to be a capital six. Now this one right here, since we raised the root of this chord, uh, we kind of shortened the interval between the G and the B. So we have a minor third from G to B and a minor third from B to D, which gives us a diminished chord. So this is going to be seven diminished. Okay. So there's that. So we can see we have some different chords here. Uh, in natural minor, we have a C major, but down in the harmonic minor, we have a C augmented, okay? And if we look over at the five chord, in the natural minor, we have a uh, minor chord, the E minor, and then uh, in the harmonic minor, we have a E major, okay? And then over here, we have a uh, G, uh, yeah, um, over here we have a G major in the seven, but over here the seven is a diminished chord, okay? And so, and it's a G sharp diminished, where this is a G, so the root actually changes on that one. Okay, and so this is where something interesting happens. So remember, we um, had our leading tone in our scale on C major, but we didn't have a leading tone in natural minor. But by giving it a leading tone, it was uh, G sharp. So now uh, this is where some interesting things happen with these chords. So now you notice now that the major chord that has a leading tone has a diminished chord on the seventh degree. Well, so does the harmonic minor. And that's an important property of that, um, of that scale. And another thing that's really cool is that the five chord here and here are the same where in a in a natural minor the five chord is minor it's major here but in the harmonic minor the five chord is major like that and that's a very important thing too about this because those are dominant and that has to do with chord function and so um so we'll 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 cover that a little bit right now all right now i have the green marker and now i want to talk a little bit just a little bit about chord function. And so here, I'm just gonna make a little side note here about chord function. Chord function. It's all I wanna talk about today are two chord functions in particular. So the first one would be the tonic. And that would be the one chord. So the tonic is the tonal center of the key so the tonic chord is the tonal center of the key so in c major 
it would be the C major chord would be the tonic chord. And in, and in A minor, it would be the A minor chord. And that would be the case for both natural and harmonic minor. So that's, that's what I want to uh, touch on right now. I'm going to just make a little bit of room there. And so I'm going to go ahead and put tonic. Okay, tonic. It's a tonic right here. I'm going to put tonic right here. So those are all tonic chords on the one. The other chord function, a very, very important one, is the dominant. And the dominant that I want to talk about is the one that falls on the fifth degree. And that would be right here on the major. It's the five chord and it's a major dominant. Okay, so now in the in the natural minor, the five chord is a minor, and so it doesn't have the dominant character that the major has. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna label that one. Okay, but now in the harmonic minor, the five chord is a major, just like in the uh, major key so that I definitely want to label as a dominant okay so that that has that has the same kind of dominant uh, property that the major key has with its dominant and the dominant property that both of these have is that it creates tension that leads back to the tonic. And so by giving the minor key the raised seventh, which is a leading tone, that gives the minor key similar characteristics of chord function that are in the major key so that this dominant works like the dominant in a major key. That dominant, it creates tension that leads back to the tonic. And so what that means is that dominant helps the progression resolve. And another word to throw out there, on that would be like a cadence so enough of, of that subject for now uh, I think we've 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 covered a, a fair amount of